So the Atlas journey continues. If you guys remember correctly in my last uh, Atlas video, I talked about how my progress was pretty much wiped from my single player save and I couldn't get it back. I didn't have a backup file saved. Thank you for those of you who suggested I do that. But anyway, I'm here on this Eastern Temperate Island and I've started a cliff base, which is something really different for me. Um, I've never done one before. So this is kind of interesting to see how it's going to turn out. I, of course, haven't finished it yet. This is kind of what it's looking like. Um, kind of hard to see with this big uh, glider on my back. But uh, I do have an elevator that does not have crew members yet. But the purpose of this video is that I want to show you something I've been working on. Oh my gosh, hopefully this works, please. Woo! I don't know how good or bad I am at this. Oh, I'm going to be so bad. I'm probably going to land in the middle of the water and get eaten by a shark. But anyway, I've been working on something that I'm really proud of, and it's my favorite um, ship build, I think, so far. So let's see here. Ooh. Okay, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> uh, let me get up on the shipyard, and then I'll take this off my back so that uh, we don't have to stare at the glider. Um, so anyway, I have been working on that bad boy up there. <laughs> it's a little bit insane. Um, but I've also been working on this schooner. And I'm going to give you guys a quick tour and then I'm going to paint it. Um, I've had a few people ask me how to use the, the, the spray paint. So I can show you that today. It's been a while since I've done it, but I'm pretty sure I remember the hotkeys to do so. But anyway, this is what it's looking like. Now keep in mind... Efficiency wise, this probably is not the best design, but as far as looks and just, I don't know, I, it's cozy. So as far as that goes, I like it. But um, efficiency wise, this is definitely not what you want to be rolling out in for PvP or even some PvE encounters, but I'm going to see how it, uh, how it does when we take it out and do stuff, because I'm getting to the point where I think I'm back up to being able to do um, like whale, hydra, I'll look at the dragon, but it, you don't really have to do the dragon to get the power stones, but anyway, this is my little setup that I have going on here. I really like how it turned out with the, uh, catwalk. These are catwalk planks that you can find in the ceiling tiles of the wood building kit. I've got the swivel guns, the lieutenant's post up here, kind of like, what, a titanic moment? Oh, <laughs> I did not mean to zoom in there. <laughs> What is it with me in this game zooming in on the crotch of all of my characters always? In my first impressions video, the same thing happened. But anyway, I've got this little cabin in here, and actually, I'll show you the rest of the upstairs. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Um, this space is still yet to be decided, but anyway, you can climb up each of the crow's nests if you like. And then we'll come in here. This is the interesting part. This splits, so you have one cabin with a bed back here. And then you can come through this little stared hallway up top. So yeah, as you can see, this definitely is not efficient as far as how you would want to build a ship to be getting around the ship faster during combat and stuff like that. But I don't know, I think it's really cute. I have not tried fishing over the edge yet, but I'm definitely going to see if I can sit in this chair and fish off the edge because that would be pretty cool. So yeah, this will be like my luxury liner, I guess. <laughs> um, building ships, and then of course, as I should say, the cannons will go back here. Um, it's really easy to do most of the naval combat with just some really good cannons on the back of a schooner, to be completely honest. So um, that's that's probably what I'm going to end up doing for this. But as I was saying, shipbuilding is definitely one of my favorite things in Atlas. I mean, there are just so many things we can do with it, and I like that you can customize it so much, and I really think it's one of the strengths of the game, so I figured I'd play around with it more. And I've had a ton of fun, even though I've been really short on time. It's just been nice. But anyway, welcome to the mess hall, which I think is also really cute. I got fancy with the uh, triangle pieces and I put the grill in the middle so it's kind of like a nice little backsplash yeah I went all out and you can even go under here to repair the back if you want to and I have a nice little hallway here and the resource box which I think is very important is protected because if that gets destroyed and you need to repair stuff you're kind of in trouble um so yeah that's that and of course this is just a dead end but I can figure out um I could probably put like a crafting station or something in there and then we have our smithy, which says repairs on the sign. So yeah, this is, it's cute. And of course, as I said, not efficient at all because the cannon, you know, the little cannon holes aren't really useful because there's no cannons in them. I just think they look good. 
Uh, so I'll just have to make sure I keep those closed as I'm sailing. And then here we are back at the bow. So that's kind of how this is looking. So now on to the part that some of you probably came here for, which is figuring out how to spray paint. We'll put the gold on the paintbrush and we'll try it this way. Okay, so what you do is you take out the paintbrush, which you can get by crafting in your inventory, I believe. So paintbrush, yes, there it is, okay. And then we're going to, I, as you saw, I drug the, uh, the coloring onto it and we're gonna whack the mast. And then you can choose which color regions you do want to paint and it even says you can like click to paint everything, but I'm afraid I would just make an absolute mess of that. So anyway, let's zoom in. You can scroll and zoom in. Um, let's see, is that what I want? Yes, okay, so that is what I want to be painted. Gold is the trappings. I don't know what they would be called. And then you click apply paint. And this is, you kind of make like a template for it. Um, that's how you use the paintbrush, but anyway, I want to, what I want to do is I want to paint the, um, the sides of the ship. So, let's see what we're going to do here. And I'll fast forward this once I've done one, and then I can show you, um, what it looks like when I'm completely done with it. So, I really want these to be gold. Yeah, I want this to be gold. And... Also the top. Yeah, I want that to be gold. Okay. And then everything else. I think we want to be this like burgundy red color. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. Some of these uh, cutlers just don't show up well at all on uh, the ship parts. But anyway, this is what it's going to look like. All right. So we have this as kind of our template we want to work on. So we're going to move over to this one. I already accidentally aimed and painted it because, as you can see, um, on the left it says color region 1 disabled. If you right click and then you hold alt 1, that will toggle that on and off. So now that is enabled and I can paint it. So now what we need to do is, let's see which region is 6. So now I've done alt 6 and, okay, perfect, so that's what we wanted. So if I just figure out which exactly I need uh, done, hoping it's five, yes, okay. So those were actually the three I needed done in this color. So I'm gonna go and click all of these, you know, go around the ship and do that. And then we can come back and put the gold on it. So that's kind of how you do it. So right click and then Alt and then use the numbers at the top of your keyboard, so like one, two, three, four, five, six, to pick which one. And you kind of do have to guess and check a little bit. There might be a better way of doing it. This is just how I remember doing it. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so pretty much everything has been painted the base color that I want it painted. See what I mean though? It feels like. The colors aren't exactly as strong as they could be. It could just be because the water is reflecting off of the color, but there you go. Yes, I'm flying around <laughs> and using admin commands. I have no shame in not wanting to waste time. Um, so anyway, this is what this is looking like. I do wish the colors were a little sharper, but that's just a quick look at how to use the spray gun because it is a little bit confusing so yeah use the paintbrush to template it first and then figure out which section is which section and then you know mark it off enable disable depending on what you want to use so let me get this to a good place for a screenshot all right so here we go the one thing i didn't do oh i missed one of the sails it kind of looks cool though having um differing color on the sails. That is kind of neat. I'll have to think maybe doing a brighter color for the back sails. But yeah, the boat is very, uh, or the ship is very earthy looking. <laughs> I don't know. The colors are sometimes hit and miss. You're going to have to go through and find which ones you'd like. Um, I would like to figure out how to do the sails. I know that there are tons of tutorials on how to do that, but uh, it's a little, it's a little trying, I'll say. But um, yeah, so this is my favorite schooner design I've found. I'm not sure about the color. Might keep it, might change it. I still need to go and put the gold trimmings on and everything. 
But what do you think? Do you like my cute little quaint schooner design? As I said, I know it's not efficient at all. I'll have to do like a battle schooner or something just to prove that I actually know how to play the game. Um, oh my gosh, the base looks like a mess up there. That really tall tower on the bottom left is actually an elevator shaft. I'm not sure how the elevators are going to work because I know you need crew members to get them going, but I can certainly do a video on that as well. So anyway, I just thought I'd get this quick video out there and show you the build, this little schooner that I'm really excited about just because it's something different. It's the fun of a sandbox. You know, what's the point of a sandbox if you can't kind of do things your own way a little bit? But uh, anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Not sure what I'm going to do. All I know is that I'm gearing up towards like whale, hydra, trying to find the giant squid, which arguably enough needs a submarine. Maybe. Maybe. But we'll see. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all are enjoying your games. As always, you can find my socials linked down below in the description box. Um, it's still a really in-between time for me. I'm not sure how frequently I'm going to be able to do videos, certainly not every day like I used to be able to, but as soon as we get all of this uh, quarantine stuff sorted out and also my big move, I'm moving states and I probably picked the wrong time to move states, but as soon as I get all of that sorted out I'm going to be back to doing almost daily content like I was before. So thank you so much for sticking with me through this. Thank you to all my Patreons who are continuing to support me through all this. It really means a lot to me that the community is sticking with me through all of my ups and downs uh, that we all know is real life. So anyway, that's it for me. I hope you all are enjoying your games and I will see you all in the next one.